They want us to determine which statement shows why g to the one third power represents the cubic root of g. And if you understand properties of exponents, we're basically going to have to get g to the first power to kind of solve this. So when we look at our first expression, when we simplify by multiplying those exponents, we'll get g to the one over nine. And when we think about this, this is not going to simplify to g. So this is incorrect. When we get over to answer choice B, when we multiply our exponents, we're going to get G to the 3 over 3 power, which simplifies to just G. So this is going to be our correct answer. But if we keep on going, right, even with answer choice C, this is the same thing as answer choice A, but they use the exponent rules incorrectly and added instead of multiplying. So that's also incorrect. When we look at the answer choice D, the issue with this is that when you multiply, like I did before, right, we have 1 over 3 to the third power. Once we put this over 1 and multiply numerator and denominator, we should get g to the 3 over 3, which just simplifies to g to the first power. Getting g to the 1 third means that they incorrectly use their exponent rules, and this is why the answer choice is going to be g.